Hi, it's me, uh, your friendly neighborhood alien who's uh, trapped on the third rack from the sun. And what follows is me playing Dragon Age Origins from a stream where I reacted to the uh, Dragon Age Veilguard vale trailer. So, enjoy! Okay, there we go. Back in Dragon Age... Georgians. Making a character. I downloaded some new mods. I decided to go with Dalish Elf because... Um, honestly, I wasn't really feeling the whole human noble thing. My proper fella Sneen on... And now he's, yeah, he left the room. So I gotta go get, save the strange creature. So I'll mute myself and be right back, I guess. That strange creature likes to make a noise. Okay, so I downloaded some mods, as you can see, um, were some presets for the faces. I don't have my full. There you go, the full methyl phallocene. I'm gonna do that. I chose a different preset. You know what? I'm gonna. I really like this one. I like that face. No, I'm gonna go with this one. No, I'm not. Um, ooh. I like him. That's, that's the face. That's the new face of uh, te um, Team Gay Elf. I want to fix that bridge. I want to fix that nose. I don't like this nose, though. Okay, I can't do it. Can't brighten that room up anymore, can I? I want to fix this nose. Just widen that bridge up a little bit. That looks a little better. Okay. Now back to my Valasneen. I want the full Methal Valasneen. Okay. Now. Hair. That way I can see the hair as it's, so it's not blending into the background. I want funky hair. Eyes. I'm gonna go with those dark eyes right there. 
But I like the way this, the face looks on the preset. Neck. Neck, 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 neck. I think I like him with a slightly thinner neck. I'm going to change the hair again. That still looks ridiculous. It's a lot of hair. Not all of them which I like. I'm going to go with a shorter do, I think. Not that short. All right there. I'm going to look at the other hairs. That right there. That's the hair I want. Those are the only colors I got. Okay. I'm going to go with that black hair. I like that. I like everything else, so. Okay. Portrait. Can I zoom... I like that one right there. What with that green? There we go. Okay. I'm using a name I already used before. He is a rogue, so... One, two. I want, I want a little more constitution. Okay. I'm going to put that into combat training. And I got two. I kind of want to have stealth. And I'm going to go... I do like the idea of a dual weapon person. So I'm going to do a dual weapon training right now. We're going to play uh, Dela Shelf. Should only be Dela Shelf this time, though. Only Dela Shelf. No weird things with mods or anything like that. So. And. We were born amidst the Dalish elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans. Not all noble. Subjugated their homeland so long ago. The homeland that was given them to, the to by Andraste. I promise them by Andraste. In a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests. And as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. 
I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. Silly Shem. Bandits, I swear. Please don't hurt us. You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish. We didn't even know this forest was yours. This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethalan? What should we do with him? Ah. Uh, well, honestly, we should. If we kill him and they're, you know, our families and they come searching for us and they might send soldiers and uh, killing them would only bring too much trouble and we don't need that. Letting them go might bring more of them. You are too soft. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave with ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be uh... treasure. So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. Well, um, I haven't seen any ruins in these forests, so uh, you're probably lying. But I, uh, I have proof. Here, we found this just inside the entrance. This stone has carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. Well, why not? There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Ah, uh, honestly, we frightened them enough. Um, I think... I. Do you smell that, Tamlin? Do you smell that? Oh. Oh. Man, I think they just... Oh, man. I think one of them pooped themselves. And I, 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 I think they're scared enough. I, I, oh, man. Oh, that smell. Woo! Woo, that smell. Yee. Ah. Mm. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, mm, mm. Ah, not good. Not good at all. Um, we frightened them enough. Oh, 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 oh! We frightened them enough. Along then, Shems, and don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man, that well, smell. Shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. Hmm. I mean, that that would. Not be a good idea, I don't think. I mean, honestly, demons, do we really want to mess with demons? Skittish shems say it's a demon, and you believe them. They've probably woke up a bear. Let's see if these ruins actually exist. Then we'll worry about what to do. Okay. If that's what you want. If that's what you want to do, Tamlin. I mean... Honestly. What do we got? Oh, just wolves. Okay, not, not an issue. I don't know what a voice I chose. I think I... I I'll keep the voice. I can change the voice if I need to. What was it? What were you doing with a health poultice? That wolf had a health post, it'll hold poultice. It ate a health poultice. And this is probably what they were eating. Ooh, loot. What do I have for weapons? It doesn't say, so I'm going to take that.
Okay, I got the same weapon, so it doesn't really... Armor... Mm, no, I do not want boots. I'm a Dalish. No boots. Okay. As you say. Okay, we're in the Brazilian forest. And it's noon. Heard the noon whistle go off. I shall do it. Not change my voice. Okay. Actually, I'm not gonna change my voice. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? Nope. We should be careful. Always the careful one. Fine. But I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? I'm gonna play cautious. Okay. Let's see how well this does. Looks like the Shem was telling the truth, but these ruins look more human than elven. Definitely not good. Good job, Tamlin. Well, if those were the demons they were worried about, we should fight. Definitely had some growth in these ruins. Scouting ahead. Okay. That did not sound good. Look there, a cunning trap. Just some spiders. Okay, okay you got the one behind me? That's good. Thank you, Tamlin. Getting the rings from are you eating people? I think they're eating people, Tamlin. And mushrooms. They're eating mushrooms, Tamlin. Okay, 
can't pick it yet. It's a trap. No, it isn't. Not a trap. It's a disarm trap. I do not like the sound of that Tamlin. Look there, a cunning trap. I do not like the sound of that. Oh, multiple ones. Okay. Still in combat. Okay. Get it, Tamlin. You know what? I should have um, put in the mod that allowed, allowed me to romance, you know, have a romance with Tamlin. It's a trap. Where? Okay, right there. This is where we came in. So, I can't believe this. You recognize this statue, don't you? Maybe, uh, it keeps fading in and out of existence, though, so I don't know. Back when our people lived in our lab, though, statues like Arlethan, Arlethan, Tamlin, Arlethan, it's. Our la dan tam len statue of our people. Oh, that made me dizzy. Can these ruins date back to the time of our laughing? Arla than. Oh. <sighs> Perhaps, but uh, not much left down here. Yes, time and decay take their toll. Still, there's bound to be something of value. That's the door that was giving me issues. Okay. Okay. Silence is best. This is A lot of backstabbing going on. Were those walking corpses? Yes, they were. Most likely. Okay. Okay, let's get you close. Let's get you close. Let's get you over by the statue that's fading in and out that the textures keep changing on. Let me save.
There's the demon. We can take care of this bear scarn. That was probably the demon. And it's well of the health poultice. And you aren't that is going to leave without taking a closer look at the mirror, are you? Um Honestly, um strange mirror, middle of ruins, uh not a good idea to look at it, I think. Sat here for who knows how many centuries. What could be so dangerous? Don't worry, I won't break it. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't. Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Um, Tamlin, not a good idea, Tamlin. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again. Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. Not a good idea, buddy. Not a good idea, old friend. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city underground. Um, Tamlin. And there's a great blackness. It saw me. Help! I can't run away. Not a good idea, Tamlin. You're awake. You, the God's own luck, Letheline. You're back. That's what I heard. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Like I'm about to throw up. Ugh. But otherwise, fine. We thought you would die. The Shem who brought you here said there wasn't much hope. Seems he was wrong. <sighs> I remember a cave, but nothing after that. He was a gray warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Uh, where's Tamlin? Of course. Most of the hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. No, I, I want to go search for. I want to go search for Tamlin. Can, can I? Can I go search for Tamlin? I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. Ah. Uh, and Tamlin could be sick as well. If he encountered the same thing you did, yes. The Grey Warden said he found you alone outside a cave, already stricken. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? No, I remember a mirror, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I don't remember darkspawn. A mirror? And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke, but there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn, but we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way? Let me turn off the desktop audio here. Without you, we there we go. Ah. Uh. 
I don't know, but I'm up to it, I think. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlen if you can, but do it swiftly. Okay. I got it. I understand. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Elganon. Nope, okay. There's a book over here. I don't see a book. I see a tree. I shall do it. I am going to loot everything, of course. Okay. Wander around. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. So how are the Hala doing today? Can I borrow one? The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take us. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. That's May good. I ask of Tamlin's fate. Some say the clan will leave before we find him. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll find him. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. No, oh, I'm quite fond of them, too. I admire them for their strength and pride. They are equals, not servants like the Shemlin horses. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Okay. Gilanen? Oh, I wonder... I'll talk to you in a second, Meryl. I do wonder, um So there there were rumors about us fighting two elven gods in um the Rail Guard. So good to see you whole and well. I was so worried. Nathara shall. Yeah, I know how to pronounce all this. All that time you were ill, the keeper didn't know if you were going to live or die. I've been outside the keeper's tent the whole time. I have never been so relieved as when I heard you would pull through. What happened? Everyone says Tamlin may be dead. Well. So we encountered a couple of them in the forest. They told us about this lovely cave with elven ruins in there. And we went in, but the ruins weren't elven. They were human, but there were elven stuff in the ruins. And we kind of wandered around, killed some spiders, a couple walking corpses. And then um, um, we fought this like bear creature and found a mirror. And then I, I told him not to, but Tamlin touched the mirror and, uh, I woke up outside the cave and, um, there was an ugly human. So I know. That's awful. He's been a good friend to you since you were fledglings. You must be more careful. Your mother and father, may they rest in peace, would be horrified to see you take such I, I told Tamlin not to go. Yeah, you, you haven't spoken about my parents too much. What happened to them is a sad tale, and it's in the past. The opening old wounds benefits no one. Don't we strive to learn from our past? You've much to do tonight, with Tamlin still missing. I will tell you another time. I don't know about my parents.
Mr. Island. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Clane tribes. I will carry it with honor. Um, no. May I see your crafts, Master Island? Of course. Take whatever you need. Okay, here we go. I need, I, I need, I need stuff. Okay, first off, do we have any better weapons? I don't have that much money. Okay, I'm gonna start selling stuff. Okay. Uh, you can have that and a couple of those. And I don't like that. No, you can have that. Um, uh, not, not, not for me. No, thank you. I'll keep those. Um, I'll keep the helmet. I already got gloves, and I don't, don't don't need those. And I already got my boots. I don't need those. And this one. I don't use blood magic, so I'm just gonna sell it. And um, you can have these two things. Actually, give me enough to buy some stuff. Okay. Do we have anything other than rough? No, we do not have anything better than rough. Okay. Um. I'll take this because I can use that. And I can't use that requires eleven strength. I don't know if I have eleven strength. No I'm gonna risk buying it. Okay. And items Then I want some health poultices. And I should increase that. There we go. And I should buy those. I don't need any other, I don't know, I should buy, um, can't make anything yet, but I should buy some flasks. Okay. There we go. Master Island. Just scroll over there. I'm going to be able to get around the, oh, there's a dusty scroll over here. The scroll over there by Meryl. Not yet, Meryl. Very well. History of the Elves. Okay. How are you setting? How 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 are you handling things, Paul? Uh, hello there. I don't think we've met. Ah, it's good you're well. You weren't here when Paul arrived, nope. were you? I've heard of you. Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. Yeah. Um, his name's Tamlin. So, so it's just so you know, in case you see him. I hope you find him soon. Hey, he also back plaid here. He arrived here a few days ago from the human lands. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close. And I hope to find your hunters in the forest. Can you join us? I'm fortunate I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a shem and a bandit at that. You're not the first city elf to rejoin his people. I'm sure he'll find life among us more satisfying than with the Shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. They aren't true, right? Um. Got nothing to worry about here, man. We're, we're cool. We're cool. Thank you. 
The clan has been very kind and welcoming. I never expected it to be like this. That's what they all say. I should level up. I get one for strength. I want to put strength so I can use my sword. One on the constitution, one on dexterity. I want to be able to use my sword. Um, I'm going to take a coercion because I kind of like being able to talk my way out of, out of issues. And I am definitely going to take lock picking. Because that's always useful. Now let me just uh, take care of my stuff. So we got that's a that's a dagger, right? Yeah. I'm gonna throw a helmet on just for the extra armor and. Uh, my promise ring. I'm going to go with the lucky stone. Okay. Back to work, Paul. Back to training. Join the clan. You're going to have to be a hunter. So let's I'm just wondering if those two beings we saw coming out of the rift. Um, behind Solus, if they were the two elven gods that we're gonna have to fight. I really hope Eric doesn't die. I hope he's just injured. It is begun. Okay. Fenerel? Is the keeper sending you back to that cave to look for Tamlin? Yes, he is. Yes, I, I'm, I'm to go with Meryl. I want to go with you. Keeper Marathari probably won't approve, but... I can help find Tamla. If you want to, we can we can try. Good. I'll follow you. Just to make sure Meryl doesn't go running to the keeper when you tell her I'm coming. Okay, good. I can always use a party. Okay, let's talk to Meryl. Hey, save. The keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. Yes, you are. Apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We Let's must go. make haste. He may not have much time. Okay. Any objections to Fenerel coming with us? That depends on the keeper. I thought we're supposed to go alone. Uh, should I ask her? You said the cave is a dangerous place. You want to risk Fenrel getting hurt, or worse? I should decide whether I'm willing to risk it or not. Go tell the Keeper that, then. Okay, let's go do that. Unfortunately, I want to take him with us because it'll be safer if we have multiple people. Uh, Keeper, you better come with us. I can persuade her, but I don't want to persuade. I see you have not left with Meryl yet. Is there something you need? Yeah, is um, Fenerol coming? Is it already if he takes with me? We, we take him with us. Fenerol? Are you certain? I'm already putting Meryl at risk. I don't want to lose you too. I want to help Keeper. If we can find Tamlin, it's worth the risk. 
Very well then. You have my permission. And thank you for asking for See, I'm going to be proper Dalish here. I'm polite and proper when it comes to the Dalish. These are my people. I play elves all the time, so in this game, so um I trust it I trust elves. Okay. Okay, let's do this. You're back. Are you ready to go now? Let's head out. What about Fenerel? You didn't think I'd notice him? We asked. The keeper has given her leave. And let us make haste while daylight lasts. We need all the people we can get, honestly. We shouldn't have to, you know. Do this alone. Plus, it'll be nice to be on the safe side just to have him. Okay, I'm not an archer, so. Very well. Where are you going, huh? Probably. Probably. I've never seen anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? Nope. Maybe they followed the Grey Warden. Or he followed them. But why would they come here? And why would he? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? No. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You, Fenerol? I'm fine. You do look quite pale now that Meryl's mentioned it. I'm... I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. You've only just recovered from your illness. But let's not think of that now. We should move on. I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I am fine. Fine. It is begun. I am totally fine. I'm going back this way. That's where I came from. I just want to make sure that wasn't something I could grab. Okay. okay. Wolves. Hala. I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? No. Probably the Shem's. It was probably the Shem. You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? It's too quiet. Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. We should be careful. It seems whatever you woke up inside that cave has spread outside. The sooner we find Damn it, Tamlin. Tamlin! The sooner we can leave. Damn what it, Tamlin! The dark spawn have sensed us. And we should sense them. I guess. I don't know what I was talking what I'm talking about. Let's get this one. No quarter shall be given. I will make this quick. Thank you, Fenerol. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I'm still going good on the health. That's good. I should save, though, frequently. Here's the cave, guys. Woo! Okay.
I don't want to battle with my bare hands, game. Let me battle with my bare hands. Okay. So these are the ruins. Interesting. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Probably the Vinter. The monsters, though. Probably the Vince. But we must find Hamlet, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. Don't talk like that man, okay? He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. I'm sorry. Damn it, Tamlin. Now you're scaring Merrill, Tamlin. Gear and Merrill, Tamlin. Okay. I guess stay here. Okay. Scouting ahead. I got this, I got this, I got this. They're coming. I'm the distraction here, not you. Trap. Any more cunning traps? Knowing Meryl should probably step in one. Okay. This should give us a quick way out. I'm going back this way. I want to make sure we get any of those monsters gone. That way you're close. There is no glory in bloodshed. I'm the distraction. There we go. Okay, we got them. I got a mage too. Okay, I'm gonna have I'm 
you there, and you there. Okay. There can be only one. I think the health poultice. Then we got dark spawn here, though. Okay, be careful. I don't know if the trap's still active or not. So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. <clears throat> You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? <clears throat> I'm surprised you have recovered. Well, I'm sturdy. So, um, if you heard us fighting, um, why were you in here looking at a mirror, uh, studying your beard, your ugly Shemlin beard? I would have, had I not been battling them myself. Not all the kills here were yours. As you no, I did see. that. I did My that. My name is Duncan, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. And Deron Atishan, Duncan of the Atishan. I am Meryl, the keeper of And I am Fenerel. But you've come here alone, human, battling all those creatures. Yes, though I must admit you took a great deal of pressure off me. Your keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. Actually, you were looking for Tamlin. Uh, he was with me when we found this place. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. And, um, have you found a trace of him or anything like that? No, nor do I think I will. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin, too, I presume. Ah. The Darkspawn are drawn to the mirror. Do you want to lead them to your clan? I, I do not fear this anything. sickness. The Keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. Hmm. And what shall I do when Tamlin's gone? First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the keeper immediately regarding your cure. Uh, so what are we going to do about Tamlin, though? There is nothing we can do. If I'm here, he, he, he could, he could, he could be too. Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die, but Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. <sighs> uh, look, I'm not ready to give up the search, okay? I I'm going to try out for my friend. If you prefer, I can wait outside while you look around, but I assure you, he will not be here. I suggest, however, I'm not going to trust you, Sam. Tamlin's my friend, you not yours. Not, and it does you no good to linger. Just go outside. up. be out when I'm ready. As you wish. I will see you back at camp. Uh, 
I mean, of course, I'm also going to loot. Could be in, could be in here. see him. I can't go that way. Okay. And I guess I guess the Tam was right. Maybe Tamlin is gone. I thought I... I shall do it. Maybe he's down there. Actually, I wanted to loot the place. Okay, back to camp. Okay. Okay. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? <sighs> Nothing. We, we couldn't find them at all. I see. Meryl, what about the mirror? Did you bring anything back? I can answer that, Keeper. I destroyed the mirror. I intended to use it to find a cure for this mysterious illness. I trust you had good reasons for your actions. Now, there is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was last here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel, then, Duncan. Meryl. Warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manuvin and Keeper, right away. Jalen, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Very well. Tell Harin Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. Try and chat somebody up, man. Nice hair. Look at him, he's got nice hair. Okay, I'm going to talk to Master Island. I see you have not returned with young Tamlin. Are we to assume the worst? I'm I'm sorry, Master Island. We, we couldn't find him. 
If he is as sick as you were, I wonder. Sadly, it seems we will be leaving him behind soon, regardless. I know you and Tamlin were friends. My condolences on your loss. <sighs> Thank you, Master Island. May the creators guide your path. Okay, we're going to deal with this. Back again. Ah, uh, may I see your crafts? Of course. Take whatever you need. I got stuff to sell. <laughs> I, I got, I got stuff to sell. Okay, I don't need those anymore. Um, that's a five. Sell both of those. Um, let's sell that and that, that, and I'm not going to use that. I don't have any. Those. I'm going to keep that. I can sell that. And that. Okay. Got some inventory. Level up. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go with this one, I think. Yeah. Shall? Oh, thank the creators you're safe. I questioned the keeper's wisdom at sending you off while you're still sick, but my doubts were misplaced. Tanlin isn't with you. Is it as everyone fears? Him. We haven't found his body, but we'll find him. We'll find him. Oh, oh dear. This is horrible news. Please take care of yourself and get better. We can't bear to lose anyone else. Uh, well, the warden knows something about it, so maybe... Uh, that's good. I thought the shaman's arrival was a bad omen, but... No, I it is. I was wrong. I will see you soon, my dear. You make me very proud. Now tell me about my mom. Mean. Didn't even hear the option. Mr. Pival. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? <sighs> Warden says he is, but I'm not sure. Even if he's not, we must leave soon. To think I'd live to see this. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour. Only silence. Uh, 
Uh, keeper wants me to tell you to prepare a service. Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The creators must come to guide him. To oh, the I land. hope not. Tell the keeper. It shall be done. I hope not. The clan is ready to move on. Uh, thank you, Master Haran. Or thank you, Master Pipel. Hmm. You know. It's imperative now more than ever to pass on what we know to the young. Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. <sighs> I don't know if I remember all of it. It's, 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 you know, it was that size when I last heard it. All Dalish should know this tale and hold its lessons close to heart. <sighs> All right, but um, I'm not sure I remember all of it. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Um. So, very long time ago, some asshole, asshole Shemlin, uh, enslaved us. Yes, slaves to a terrible empire. To Vinter. Humans built on the darkest magic. And the ashes of our fell, We became free. We Thanks, built Andraste. a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. But, uh, well, you know, humans, humans are gonna human. They were resentful. Because we would not worship their gods. And because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. And then they decided, well, uh, that land that you were promised by, uh, by, by our prophet, well, uh, we want it back. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. Yeah, because honestly, um, <clears throat> have you ever been in a human city? Have you ever been in a human city? They, 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 they throw their poop out the window. They throw their poop out the window. All right, that's quite enough out of you. To survive and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart. Until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We shall then return <laughs> the old ways like that. to those of our people who have lost them. We are the Dalish. Keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. We are the last. <clears throat> we are the last of none. Never again shall we submit. The oath of the Dales, and no smart mouth comment. Hey, I only had one smart mouth Three comment. Small mercies. I will let you get on with your business now. I only had one. Mm. I should go now. Of course. May the gods guide your path. I only have one smart mouth comment though. He's like, oh, smart mouth comment. Oh, I had one. I made one smart mouth comment. One. One. I only made one smart mouth comment, and now, and now he's like, ooh, you're smart mouth. Yeah. Well. Mm. Well. Yeah. Wherever you go. Mmm. Mmm. If I could stick my tongue out of my mouth, I would be. Hey, baby. Okay. Do. do, do. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. 
When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Ah. <sighs> Um, but I can't just leave them. And we would not send you away, but there is more at stake. The darkspawn taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that, but it means joining us. Ah. <sighs> will I be able to return here someday, though? We do not know. But we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn, a battle that will take us far from your clan. But we need you and others like you. <sighs> Very well. I guess I'm honored. A great army of darkspawn gathers in the south. A new blight threatens the land. We cannot outrun this storm. Long ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against a blight should that day arrive. We must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty. And your salvation. And I understand. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. I will. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? I would uh, like to at least say goodbye to my clan. Of course. Say your farewells, then let us be off. We have much ground to cover. Come then, Dalen. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. Group hug? Group hug? Group hug! Group hug! This isn't a group hug. This isn't a group hug. I want a group hug. Group hug. I wanted to. I said embrace. I wanted a group hug at least. That's dad. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? I think he talked to Alistair. That's how he found out. Alistair told him. Um, I am Phoenix, uh... Your Majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. Well, 
Um, do you know anything of us? Um, some of us are not that skilled. I wish I knew more, but your people aren't exactly fond of mine, for good reason. I tell you this, you well, are very welcome here. If you want to get to know Adelis, uh, a a little better, uh, I'm sorry to cut this short, I, I, I can come to your tent later on. Logan waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your sorry. uncle sends sorry. his greetings and reminds you that Red Cliff forces could be here in less Team than a week. <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Well, sounds like this is almost over. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty That's good. of dark spawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an arch demon. That's good. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They won several battles what? against the Dark Spawn. <sighs> Um, yeah, that does, do, you, do you don't sound too confident about that man. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Then, um... Maybe we should move a little quicker then? No, do I think? We should proceed with the ritual. So what do you need me to do, man? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey mm. Warden tent. Oh, that's the a sharp chin. Should you need to. Yeah, I'll keep it. I like everything else. Okay. Let me just uh, make my save. I'm going to try to save like at the beginning of every part here. But that's what I mean about the darkness. Um... I mean, I don't want Varric to die, obviously. I really don't. But, I mean, you can see in the origin right there, Phoenix's life is not that great. As you say. He's sick and slowly dying. His buddy is missing, possibly dead. You know, he's had to say goodbye to, you know, his home and his family. I mean, honestly. That adds darkness. I mean, at the same time, Varric, um... Possibly dying? Yeah. That's terrifying. That's a terrifying thought I do not want to happen. But, if it does happen, it adds to the story, I think. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. I am. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Um... I'm looking for a guy named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Well, thank you then. Good luck to you then. Okay. I'm going to continue looting the place though first.
Okay, this way. I mean, I did all this just yesterday, so... So I'm just gonna run, do my looting. And I'm gonna do some cheating. Ah! Okay. Okay. Okay, I wanna take a break here in a second. After I loot. After I finish looting. So. I'm not going to be playing the full game. I know that much. I know that much. I'm not going to play the full game. I'll, I'll do talking to people and stuff after I've looted everything. Um, but I'm not going to play the full game. I'm just going to play... Well, I'm going to play the main story. Obviously. Um... I'm going to get Soldier's Peak. So, so I can get safe storage. Um, I'm going to get my Golem. I'm going to get Shale. And I will be doing a re the return to Astagar. You know, the, the ones that can take place, that take place during the main game. But outside of that, I'm not going to really be doing much with the DLC. Okay. So, I am going to take a quick break here. Oh, get up and move. And then I want to watch the gameplay footage again. Because I kind of do want to watch it one more time and see if there's anything I missed. So we'll be doing that after I get up and move around a little bit. So uh, I will see you on the flip side. And I got up, moved around, and then I watched the trailer again on stream. And I enjoyed it. And I focused more on the gameplay. And it made me really excited to play the Veil Guard. So that's about the summary of what that segment was. I'm not posting that lot up though, so uh, forget about it. Back to the gameplay. Cut. Print. That's a wrap. I, I'm very bullish about this. It looks like it'll be a good game. You there, elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? You hear what he said? You hear what he said? What? What? Your... Oh, uh, yes, of course. I, uh, please forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for. That is simply being so hectic. Uh, I never thought. But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I am just the quartermaster, a simple man. No one's special. Well, you're forgiven, Shem. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? What you got? Let me know what you'd like. Okay. Oh, I know what I like. You would be a little less jerkish. And a backpack. And those. And those.
Okay, you don't have any weapons that I want. Shem. But you can have those. Um, you can have those too. Shem. Okay. 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 What? Well met. Okay. Good. Okay, I am gonna try to get past Ostagar today, I think. There's a way I could rebake the textures. I think that's the right terminology. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Uh, you haven't been sentenced yet, man? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do well, with me. Well, I'm nobody important, so don't mind me. Bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. No. <laughs> Well, I'll see what I can do, okay, buddy? I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Well, um... I kind of want some dessert. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. No, he, he kind of, he's hungry and thirsty, man. Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So, um, it looks like you could use, it, it wouldn't hurt you to miss a meal. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Are you sure you want to eat so, this? It'll make you burp. You me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. I'm just going to give him food. I'm not going to try to get the key from him. There you go. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. Bit of a smart ass, but I'm trying to be kind. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Uh yeah? Uh who are you? Sir Jury is my name. I hailed from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camped in the valley are all human. Well um we can. Now, what's that supposed to mean, man? Just that in some places, elves are not always permitted in the military. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Well, uh, aren't you nervous about finding uh, Darkspawn? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. As a boy, my mother told us Darkspawn hunted down all children who misbehaved. They do. It is a foolish superstition, I know, but I still shiver when I think of fighting them. Tell me. Has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? No, not really. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Okay. You're next, man. Well... You're not what I thought you'd be. And what do you think I'd be, a buxom blonde? Not an elf. Yep, here you are. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. So, do you know anything about it? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Well, um, 
Honestly, that really wouldn't frighten me. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? I'm a Dalish, man. We are cannibals, beasts, and witches. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have Don't you hear stories? We're cannibals, beasts, and witches. According to Hugh Sham. So, any force need to be here? I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Okay. Up, oh, got a quest giver right over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to him. Hello. Mm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. So, what's up? This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. He's owned a dying the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed Darkspawn blood. Oh, I man. have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Well, um, I can try. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. Yeah, if he doesn't respond well, he'll bite me. Put him down. Then you'll have to put me down. Oh, look at that little boy. No, the dog looks up at you respectfully, backing down from his aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes, as well as a great deal of pain. This animal is very ill. I'm gonna muzzle this poor little guy. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fellow. Come Doesn't look muzzled. Heading into the wilds anytime soon. Maybe. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white with a blood red center. Well, if I can find one, I'll bring it back. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Okay, now for the quest. I would like to make armor like that. I mean, honestly, that would be kind of cool if I could wear that. I'm gonna bring this up here. If I could make this um, armor, that would be kind of nice. You know, for like cosplay and stuff. It, it would be kind of nice. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the circle? No. I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell yes. Her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes. You'll be harassed in other manners. You by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here he just I got a credit? Along so well. I was I'll look great on his uh, union resume. The grumpy one. Enough. I will speak to the woman. Kind of need credit if we can burn the sag, you know, sag, so, you know. At least that's what I heard. You know. Or read in the book once. One good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Just trying to find a bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Yes. Yes, I am a mage. Would that make your day any worse? Hardly. I just like to know my chances of being turned into a toad at any given moment. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit, the Dalish. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Ah, uh, how would you have recognized me? Duncan sent word. He spoke. Quite That's why I think uh, Kalen talked well, to Alistair. Myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Well, um, can I do it by myself? I know. I felt the same way when I did this. 
Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Yeah, they're short and ugly. I've only fought them once up close. And that was before the battles here started, which Duncan has kept me out of so far. Tell me, did you find them as monstrous as I did? Oh, ho, ho. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You'll be at an advantage then. Most new recruits have never even seen Darkspawn. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. And then, let's get going. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Okay. Let's see if we can give you some accessories here. I'm going to give you this one. Um, that one probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And let's give you that. Okay, and I should give myself my ring. I'm going to keep the promise ring. You know what? No, I'm going to um, grab the keeper's ring here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh, loot this chest and then talk to Duncan. Very well. Okay. Now let's get to Duncan. I took a jump. Maker above, keep the prayers of your sons and daughters. We will be saved your prophet on God and now save your people. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I assume you're ready to begin preparations. <clears throat> yes, I am. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt makes it stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize any Um, person. sir, the mage was being uh, a little bit of a jerk, dude. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, the mage was being a, here, we can a, a bit of a jerk, you so... Be wilds to I, think he, uh, I think he's just fight. The first is to obtain three vials I think he's very just fight. Blood. One for each recruit. Okay. So, uh, what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I think I got it. The scrolls contain treaties promising support. Treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Okay. You know what? Actually, this is where I'm going to call it because oh, I've been on stream for a while. So, um, I might show back up later tonight. Uh, depends on how much energy I have. Um, otherwise, I'll be back on Thursday with Pokemon Legends Arceus. And 
I'll edit this together as a VOD when I'm ready to, so, for, you know, later on this week, so, um, yeah, it'll be up on my YouTube channel. So, until either later tonight or Thursday, I will see you on the flip side. I hope you all have a, a nice day. I'm not going to be raiding anybody today because I just got, I got a lot of stuff I got to get done here today, so, um, yeah, I will be seeing you on the flip side. Bye.